Energy customers across Ohio may be looking at higher bill costs. Both AES and Centerpoint Energy are proposing rate increases this year. Centerpoint Energy is looking to raise its monthly rates by 25% for all customers, which could cost an additional $280 a year per customer. For the typical AES customer, that proposed increase is around 9% for their monthly bill. Centerpoint held a public hearing on those changes back in July, and the Ohio Consumers Council is requesting Centerpoint hold two more public uh, hearings. AES customers have had the chance to speak to weigh in on these proposals this Thursday. That will be held at Dayton City Hall. That's the final public hearing date, but people can also submit written comments online. AES customers got to talk about the proposed increase last week at the first Dayton City Hall public hearing. AES representatives said it's been a busy four years in terms of storm damage and upgrades to the grid and that this increase is reasonable. But many customers say the increase is outrageous. Local leaders that help lower income families say even small increases have a big impact. While we understand that it does cost uh, to improve and to maintain the infrastructure, uh, this is simply a cost that, that our clients um, and, and those in our community just can't absorb. But we can't compromise and not think about, especially the seniors, especially people on fixed income, um, people who are really, really impacted by even the small amounts of increase. The Dayton Development Coalition testified at that meeting saying they believe AES is reli a reliable presence in the Miami Valley and that the raise is justified. And so we're asking questions about increased energy demand in Ohio with companies proposing these rate increases. Some are pointing to the growth of big tech as a strain on the grid. Across the country, data centers are being built to meet digital demands, and that includes here in Ohio. According to datacentermap.com, there are five data centers in Dayton and one in Springfield. To our east, Columbus houses 120 data centers, and in Cincinnati, that number is around 20. Up near Cleveland, the site reports 24. Right now, I am joined live by Dr. Shuang Ye Wu, the chair of the University of Dayton's Department of Earth and Environmental Geosciences. Dr. Wu, thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Uh, with the rise of artificial intelligence and growth of people's digital footprints, it looks like demand for these centers can only grow. Can you give us an idea of just how much energy these centers use? Well, the demand certainly grows a lot, and it was even before the artificial intelligence because our online activities. And those data centers are very energy intensive. Uh, even the small ones, uh, small ones consume about one to five megawatts per uh, megawatts. And um, the larger ones will go uh, go to over 100 and 150 megawatts. So by comparison, an average household, probably the energy consumption is 1.2 kilowatts. So that means a small, uh, a small data center consume the same amount of energy as a several thousand households, like a small town. And then the big ones will consume um, the consume the amount of energy like the whole big uh, whole, uh, like a city like the whole day city of Dayton. Yeah, that really puts it into perspective and it's not just electricity. The centers are also using a lot of water. Why do they need so much? Well, the energy is mostly um, used for running the big computers, but also for cooling those computers. The computers generate a lot of heat that need to be cooled in order to perform properly. So heating requires a lot of water, and that's why those data centers also need a lot of water. And then how could this affect everyday customers here in Ohio? Well, those large demand on electricity definitely put strains on the electric grid, and it will, um, well, it has already driven up the uh, energy prices. And um, also, in addition to that, because in Ohio, the great majority of the um, of the uh, electricity, 88% of the electricity was generated by fossil fuels, which contribute to the carbon dioxide emission and leading to more global warming. And we are already seeing a lot of the impact of global warming, like extreme storms that further exacerbates the uh, the electric grid. So there's a it's worsening in many perspectives. And um, 
beyond that, there's also very localized environmental impacts like noise and pollutions, uh, air pollutions, and um, and um, environmental impacts like that. So people's lives will be uh, are being affected by these data centers. Well, we're certainly running out of time here. Only about 20 seconds left. Is there anything these power companies or individuals can do to lessen this impact? Uh, definitely increase energy efficiency and reduce the reliance on fossil fuels. I think that's a long term way to build sustainable uh, development of the data centers. All right, Dr. Shuang Ye Wu, the chair of the University of Dayton's Department of Earth and Environmental Geosciences. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. And if you or someone you know is struggling with the cost of air conditioning this summer, you may be eligible for help. The Ohio Department of Development is providing electric bill or repair help to lower income families. Those families must have a gross income at or below 175% of the federal poverty guidelines. For a family of four, that is around $56,000. You can apply online and we have a link at WDTN.com.